Well, hello, welcome to another video from uh, a very wet and windy Bolton. <laughs> Tell a lie, it's absolute scorching outside. It's the uh, hottest week of the year so far, and it's a bit too much for me. Now, obviously, us Brits aren't always keen on the hot weather, and we like to moan and stuff like that. And trust me, I've done my fair share of that. However, DJI Mini 2, that's the focus of today's video. Now, there's two... Uh, problems that I'm currently experiencing that are just starting to get on my nerves a little bit and the first one is um, connection issues now I'm not talking about zooming off miles um, from the controller you know out of sight anything like that this is instant um, and I've got a few examples here that I can show you now in a nutshell what's happening is I'll fire up the controller I'll fire up the drone let them settle down Wait for the GPS and the satellites to all lock, so we're all good and bonny. Make sure my return to home height is set correctly for the height I need, or you know the height of the local obstacles. And then I'll take off, and normally, um, like I say, ninety-five percent of the time, as soon as I take off, I'll just do a quick control check, forward, back, left, right, up, down, um, just satisfy myself that everything's doing what it should be doing. But I found recently. Um, and again, it's far too many times for me to be um, comfortable with and something that started to alarm me a little bit. Now what I'm finding is that as soon as I get up in the air, within 20 seconds, the drone's actually disconnecting. Um, it just stops completely. Or it'll just stop and uh, waft about a bit while it's settling itself down. And then it'll either reconnect um, as if like the things rebooting or and then after a few seconds of blackness um, It'll reconnect and then start again and carry on as if nothing ever happened and um, It's getting a bit worrying All right, So bear with me and we'll look at the first example So this first example as you can see RTH is 50 meters I've got 21 satellites and a full strength on the remote controller so I'm just here setting up, ready to go, and um, let's see what happens. So we're airborne now, one meter, and it's just said aircraft not connected to the controller. So 16 seconds, 17, eight, 17 seconds into flight, aircraft not connected to remote control. Second later, so we're 31 seconds into flight, no GPS, fly with caution. Now if you look at the top right, 24 satellites and full remote control strength. So that's the first one. That was on the 15th of June. Second one, again, 21 satellites, remote control, full strength, 94% battery. Home point adjusted, uh, sorry, home point updated, return to home adjusted to 50 meters. So here we go. So we're climbing now. Three meters, four meters, and they're 19 seconds into the flight. At a height of 31 meters and a distance of 53 meters. Aircraft not connected to remote control. Second later, remote control signal lost. Second later, auto returning to home. Uh, thirty second later, 36, 37 seconds into flight, and we're back to normal. 23 satellites, full strength on the remote control. And after that, the flight went without incident. That was the 17th of June. Next one, 10th of July. So here we've got return to home adjusted to 75 meters, 16 satellites, and full strength on the remote control. Well, let's just see what happens here. So we're climbing, and there we go. So this is another interesting thing I've noticed. It says 19 seconds into the flight, and then the timer jumps to 31 seconds, but it says aircraft not connected to remote control. Still showing 23 satellites and full strength on the controller. Second later, remote control signal lost. Pre-flight check. Don't know why that comes up. And then finds itself, off it goes, 23 satellites still, full strength on the remote controller. Next one, 10th of July again, just pause there. 
returns home altitude 35 meters, 15 satellites on full strength on the remote control. So we're climbing there, 10 meters, 15 meters away, no problem he says, 45 meters away, 50 meters, 40 meters up in the air. So this time, 36 seconds into the flight, we've got 24 satellites, full remote control signal, we're 63 meters up and we're 100 meters away. And the warning comes up, aircraft not connected to remote control. This one's a bit different, so auto returning to home straight away and then in flight as it's recovered and I've cancelled the RTH. Now this one, this is the most recent one, 16th of July. Slightly different this one because I was trying to track a moving vehicle and it moved off before I was completely ready but I had one chance to get the shot so took a chance yeah that's on me no problem at all I fully understand that I know what I'm doing with it so I'm happy to fly in ATTI mode if needs be um, surrounded by trees but there's a nice wide open space no danger risk assessment all that caper and uh, so I quickly got the uh, controller out fired up the drone same sequence controller first then the drone yeah wait for the seat wait for the pitch to come through and uh, off we went so I had zero satellites locked full strength on remote control i was only going to be traveling a maximum of 50 meters away from the controller so again i was happy with atti mode and uh, i get the initial warning quite normal no gps fly with caution so we set off on this flight again quick warning saying signal weak switch to atti attitude mode unable to hover no problem at all for what i needed to do and then I've got a red warning saying attitude mode fly with caution, compass or GPS signal weak. So I'll just further confirmation saying, look, do you really want to fly under these conditions? But again, quite happy. Altitude limit 30 meters. Again, no problem because the where I was flying, I didn't need to get anywhere near that. Um, so, and there we go. And that's come in at 29 seconds aircraft not connected to remote control second later remote control signal lost big red warnings and signal weak. this is 31 seconds into the flight now the thing that worried me with this is the drone is in ATTI mode yeah so it doesn't know where it is it doesn't know where home is and I'm flying it and I've got no control over it. Now that is frightening. So it's showing there five satellites, full strength on the remote controller. And let's see how we get on. I was starting to panic at this point. I can still see it, you know, it was only 20 feet away from me, but it really did make me think. Now, fortunately, after about, well, what seemed like, you know, an hour, <laughs> after about 10, 15, 20 seconds, the controller found the drone again, it reconnected, everything was fine, back to normal. We got some satellites locked in as well, so we went back to GPS mode. So disaster was avoided, but it, um, it really did worry me. So my question is, have any of you had similar experiences? Is it a new thing you've experienced? Is it an ongoing thing that you experience? How do you deal with it when it happens to you? Have you found a way of preventing it? Yeah, any, any thoughts you've got, share it with us, put it in the comments, everyone else can read it, and um, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to speak to a couple of other people I know with these drones to see if they've got any insights on it. But it really did worry me, um, this last one, especially in ATTI mode. So what would you take away from this? I would thoroughly recommend that you don't fly in ATTI mode, or you don't take off before everything's locked in. Satellites, remote controller, do your control check. Then when it's happy, then when it's found its return to home point, then go off flying. But um, yeah, it did worry me. And fortunately, you know, no disaster in the end and it was avoided. But for those 15, 20 seconds, I really did wonder how's this going to end up. And another video coming up soon about um, screens going dim and phones overheating and that kind of thing. Because I think the people that have covered it so far are coming at this from the wrong angle. 
So subscribe, hit the bell if you want to hear about that. And uh, as always, great to see you. Thanks for joining in. Uh, welcome all your comments. And uh, take care. Enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to cool down. See you soon.